Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugar Loaf and Carabasset Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast and info to know. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, on all your internet devices. And this weather update brought to you by village to go Find them in Village West. Becoming partly sunny for the day today. Should see some clouds in the morning, but some sunshine in the afternoon. Temps will be warming up into the mid to upper 30s down here around the base, so that'll feel great. Uh, the summit winds are forecasted to uh, be elevated a bit, so you will notice that up there if that comes through. Uh, not too bad down here on the base, so get out there and enjoy it. Wednesday looking like another great day. Base temperatures getting into the uh, mid-40s. Summit temperatures staying in the mid-30s. Uh, not much of a breeze, but it will be changing around uh, to the southwest, bringing up that warmer air. As you can see on Thursday, a high of 52 degrees with partly sunny skies. That'll be a great day for any outdoor activities. Partly sunny skies for Friday, high of 48, and then things start to cool down for the weekend where we could see a chance of a snow shower or so on Saturday with a high of 31 degrees with partly sunny skies. Birchwood Interiors brings you this trail report. 153 trails of ski and ride on, 8 lifts getting into those runs, 67 trails groomed out last night, and we're looking at loose granular and frozen granular conditions out there. Get out there and enjoy it. The grooming has been excellent lately, so... Uh, hats off to the groomers. You can see last night they hit Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Spur Line, King's Landing, Hayburner, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Spillway and Sluice, Olive Gondola Line, Olive Wedge and White Nitro, as well as Haywire, Candy Side, Lower Winters Way, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and down Snowbrook to the condos there. So things are in great shape. Heading over to the east side, you'll find Hallback, Flume, Widowmaker, Ramdown, as well as Choker, all groomed up higher up on the east side, lower down. Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, Slasher, Springboard, Rollway, as well as Moose Alley. If you've got kids, check out Moose, Ma Moose Alley. West Mountain, Scoot, Windrow, Good Chance, and Horseshoe, as well as all the terrain parks get work every night as well. Snubber and Sawduster, those two lifts will get you, get, get you going at 8.30 this morning to move you below and uh, around the base area. Uh, Double Runner East gets going at 8.30. That'll get you a little higher on the hill, as well as Super Quad and Skyline. They get going at 8.30 as well. It'll get you pretty much anywhere you need to go. Over on the east side, 9 o'clock, King Pine and Whiffle Tree open up. King Pine more advanced, Whiffle Tree more intermediate. And then at 9 o'clock, Timberline, the uppermost lift, gets going at 9 a.m. And remember, there are beginner trails off of the summit, uh, the Timberline Trail as well as Upper Tote Road. Snowshoeing is excellent down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Try out the fat bikes. They are in great, uh, the trails are in great shape. Grooming on all the trails. The uh, Bow Moose Bakery and Cafe opens back up tomorrow on Wednesday. And um, just call ahead about the ice rink because of these warm temperatures and the sun getting higher. It, it wreaks havoc on that rink. Thaw free cycles on the fat bike trail. So if you're doing a ride, plan to go out early in the morning or late, late afternoon uh, as uh, Things will soften up during the day and then freeze up overnight. Nordic gear only for the Sugarloaf Inferno happening this weekend. It's kind of a skier cross type uh, event this year. Should be a great spectator event. And the live stream at our website of the annual town meeting happening next Monday. Be sure to tune into that, especially if you're a Carabasset Valley resident. WSKI TV schedule. Here we go year round. We've got tons of great outside television programming mixed in with our great local programming with all the info to know before you go. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where we hang out on social media. We're always on our website, WSKITV.com. Check out our live quad cam shot. Lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy and much more. Have a great day, folks.